Hey guys, welcome to another Scratch tutorial. In this video, I'll be doing a top down shooter game where this little guy in his army uniform with a little gun here, you can make the artwork whatever you want, guys, will be shooting at the zombies. Um, and you'll need four costumes for the zombies um, just to show their health. You can have more or less, but it might be a bit confusing when I'm doing the code. Um, and I've just got a bullet. And then I've also got a standard backdrop, a you lose backdrop, and you can make the you lose backdrop whatever you want. And I've also got a score variable, and that should be all you need for now. So, to start off with, um, we'll get this guy to move. So we'll go in here, we'll get a when flag clicked forever, and then we need one of these. We'll get a if key. Um, so you can use the up arrow, um, change Y, and I'll just make it 5, there we go, 5, and then if we duplicate that, so if, the, if you right click on it, drop down menu appears and you can duplicate, um, and then we'll make that the down arrow, and we'll make this negative 5, because it's going down this time, and if we drag those two in, it should go up and down. There we go. And next, we will need. Well, we can duplicate these two. So if you just duplicate right here on this if statement, it'll duplicate everything below it. And if we get rid of the y's, because this time we'll be changing x, because the x axis is across. So we'll get x. We'll go right arrow and left arrow. So right arrow will make it move 5. Left arrow will make it move back 5. So, there we go. A guy walks around. So if you want to make him faster or slower, just increase or decrease this. Um, but I think I'll stick with 5 for the moment. Because when you go full screen, yeah, that's a solid amount of movement. Um, so next, we want him to follow the mouse. So he's always pointing where the mouse is. So we'll go when flag clicked. And for this, you've got to make sure that the rotation style is either this one or this one. Or that this one works much better. Not don't use this one um, or this one. It's probably best just to use the one that's like that. Um, and then go forever. This is pretty easy. Um, point towards mouse pointer. So if we click the green arrow again, he always points towards wherever the mouse is. Alrighty. So. Now we're going to make so that when he clicks, he shoots a bullet. So to do that, we'll go over to the rifle, the bullet here. And we'll actually want it to hide. And what we want is we want it when flag clicked forever. And we'll just put a hide in here just in case so that every time it should hide. And we want it to go to... Uh, where is... Go to... Sprite 1, which is this guy, so the rifle bullet will always be on him. So now the rifle bullet will just follow him, as you can see up here in the coordinates, it's just following him as he moves. And then for each of the bullets, we'll actually make it a clone. So when if I clicked forever, if um, mouse down. Then we'll just put a weight here. Wait one second, so that will be the speed of fire, so you can change that. Create clone of myself. Except, what are the clones going to do? So we've got to program the clones now. So when I start as a clone, um, you've got to repeat until, here we go. Oh, so we need to actually make it show, because we want these bullets to show. So show, and also point in, point towards the mouse pointer, so it goes towards wherever your mouse is facing. And then we want it to repeat until it either hits the edge, so sensing until it's touching, I think, yeah, the edge. Or, if it's touching a zombie. 
So we chuck that in here. So what we do, we want it to repeat, so we want it to move. So those are the boards that I clicked earlier. I think. Um, so we'll just make that, we'll speed it up a bit. And if you notice, the boards came out on an angle. So if they do that, all you got to do is go into the costume and just select this one here, grab it, and just rotate it quickly. As you can see, because I'm clicking, it's firing at the moment. Um, so if you hold that down, it should they should shoot in a straight line. I actually meant to put this in there. So now you just hold that down, it should shoot. Except they just hit the edge and stop. So for what we want it to do, okay, I'm just going to stop that. Um, delete this clone once it hits the edge. So once it's finished repeating this, so it's either hit a zombie or the edge, it'll just delete. So now our guy can move around, and when he shoots, the bolts will hit the edge and disappear. Or we can actually try the zombie here. It'll hit the zombie and disappear. Now, um, so I think that'll do it for this episode. In the next one, I'll walk through how to make the zombie make the zombies spawn um, slowly. And uh, and I'll walk you through how how to make them spawn and stuff. So I'll see you guys in the next episode. Hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you like and subscribe. See you guys later.